for Mr. Baker. Okay, good evening. Uh, this is the monthly update for the UCCL project. Uh, first things first is our soil remediation phase is now complete and over. Um, all Department of Toxic State Substance Control approvals for soil remediation are complete, including the no further action letter, so we're done. Um, and so that's a big hurdle to, to cross, and uh, that's allowed construction to complete, to, to uh, proceed completely. We received a clean bill of health for building A. If you recall, the uh, raw monitoring report had revealed some unforeseen uh, volatile organics, motor oil, in building A area. We removed those over a period of three months in late 2014. Um, those were success removed, so there's no further monitoring required. Had they been there, um, uh, had they been occurring, recurring, then we would have needed to install a monitoring system and then a number of other things for the future. We were able to clean that site up completely. There are no schedule impacts to building A. Um, this is largely degree due to the fact that we had some rain in December and kind of we caught up with uh, our schedule. Um, so that's good. And just minimal cost impacts to remobilizing the grading contractor. They had to come back to do A, uh, which they actually have now completed. Uh, construction update. Uh, the building east seismic upgrade is in progress. And that seismic upgrade uh, consists of bolts and plates to the existing concrete structure and will uh, down the road soon here include some concrete shear walls that are being added. Uh, building a mechanical electrical is well in progress and I've got some photographs to, to take a look at that progress. Site utilities are in progress throughout the site. We're done with E, we're doing D right now and uh, the rest will follow. Steel fabrication is in progress for building D uh, in Antioch and in um, uh, Hayward. The, the, fa the steel co components for E are pretty much complete now. Um, excavation for building D footing starts soon. They're doing layout right now and they'll start that uh, in the next couple weeks. And the prep work for building slabs will start soon. Um, and uh, we'll, be, we'll be looking at that. And I'll show you a look at calendar here in a minute here. So we're, uh, we're moving right along as they say. Uh, the good weather has helped tremendously. Uh, we had 16 weather days in December. Again, there are, uh, um, I think, an excess of 35 weather days built into the schedule, so there's no delay uh, caused by that, if you will, but it does impact pro progress um, of the project. Um, design update, the pool design is nearly complete. We should have all of our documents for bidding done next week and pricing for that, uh, all that, that pool renovation back in February. Uh, and so we're just doing the final, just the final work on the electrical coordination with the electrical design build subcontractor, and so that should be out to bid for to pool contractors next week. The health center, we've completed the uh, design changes uh, that have been requested by Lifelong, the operator. Uh, those are now complete. Um, we still have some uh, electrical and data uh, locations to confirm, and uh, importantly, we need to coordinate some of the uh, health center equipment, primarily dental chairs, with Turner. Uh, but we're pretty much done with those revisions. Of uh, the library, we've made some minor revisions to that. Uh, there still is not a, an operator determined for the library. Uh, we talk to the city once a week to see what the progress on that is. Um, since the library is one of the first uh, portions of the project complete in Building D, um, our time is running uh, uh, short to make any changes. But I think ever the city and, and district are pretty confident in the, the design as we have it now. But that's something we're going to be watching closely as, as um, an operator may or may not be, on, be brought on board. Um, every month I'll show you what we call an eight-week eight -week look ahead schedule that shows what, the, what we can expect to see over the next couple months. Uh, like I said, Building E, the, the gym seismic work is, is, is underway, and that's going to be done pretty soon here. Uh, the mechanical local plumbing work is well underway, will be done by early February. After that, we're going to start framing. We're framing the new walls and some new floor, flooring in that building. Um, site utilities for building E are pretty much done. For buildings B and D are underway. 
um, buildings A and C, those will start uh, sometime next week. I think with the weather the way it is, let's, we'll probably be on, that, on our way there. Building A earthwork, again, that's coming back and finishing where we had a kind of uh, pause on A. That is, that's now complete. Uh, building D footing excavation is, they've done started with layout and that will be done by the end of the month. Um, they're going to place the base rock for the entire field next week. So that entire field will have a base rock, which is big gravel on it. Um, the footing, excav footing excavations for buildings A, B, and C um, are going to still start layout next week, and they'll finish that by mid-February. Uh, building D concrete, the slab and footings, is going to take place in, uh, in February. And uh, if all goes well, and so far this is the schedule, we're going to start erecting building D steel at the end of next month. And so that goes up pretty quick too. One of the, one of the, the uh, most fun things about when you do steel construction is that that goes up within about two, three weeks. So as it stands now, by March, we will have building D, you'll see all the steel up. So we'll be able to see that from San Pablo. Um, so that'll be a big change. Now, um, you tell us periodically, but I can't keep it in my, in my head. Can you just go over? which is building A, B, C, oh, D, sorry. and I'm sorry, I apologize. And I, I, and, and folks, I think what I, just tuning and, in at home. I yes, maybe you should give us just a legend every yeah, time you do Yeah, periodically I've included the, uh, the overall site plan. I'll, I'll make sure to put that in the updates. Okay. Building, and I apologize. Building A is the community building at the corner of 53rd and San Pablo. Building B is the administration building for both the district and the city that's along San Pablo. Um, in fact, I actually have a, um, I actually have, I, 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 if you want, I can pull up a, a, a site plan. Building D is the high school, which is at the corner of 47th and San Pablo. Building C is the K through eight school. That's the interior one of the site that borders the field. And building E is the gym. And if, if anyone would like, I can pull up. I can I can go through here and pull up a a, a, a plan. So construction photographs. So here's our when we we uh, started last week. We went back after we had DTSC approval in December. Where this is the corner you can see. This is the building A site again. That's the community building at the corner of 53rd and and, and um, San Pablo. So they're doing rough grading. This is the grading at that at that corner of the site. So uh, our grading is now complete throughout the site. Uh, this is when they're putting down, um, they're lime treating the soil, and you put lime, lime is what you treat the soil with lime everywhere you have concrete uh, above that, so at the building slabs and also at the flat work. Um, and that, I think, now is complete. Uh, this is the staging area. You can see the gym is building E. This is the staging area for all the, um, um, the site utilities, so that's all the piping you see there. That's a conduit and, and sewer piping. This is trenching, this is a near building D, this is electrical trenching that is taking place now. This is the main electrical trench, the trench that comes off of, uh, of 47th and goes into the site. Inside the gym, building E, we're doing uh, the mechanical electrical plumbing work, so we've done trenching through the existing concrete. Um, these are the uh, pre-assembled uh, components of the underground plumbing that are, uh, are, are at the site right now. Actually, most of these are installed now. And this shows the installation of those. This is for the, 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 the new restrooms and showers within that building. And you can see then these, those are placed and those will be then backfilled with base rock. And then this will be, uh, uh, the slab will be replaced in, that, in, in those locations. I just wanna point out that um, we're a milestone here that uh, all, of our, all of those early, this is the, the, the tabular schedule that um, the board has seen for quite some time. All of our really kind of uh, pre-construction activities are now complete, all the stuff in the light green. And uh, what we have left is just finishing up the contract um, and uh, then the, uh, the, uh, the move-in activities that take place uh, uh, incrementally. And again, we have three move-in periods. We have, uh, you'll see uh, at the bottom here, the move-in period for the gym pool will be in July, July through August of this year. For the high school, November through December of this year. And for the, other pro for the remainder of the project, the K through eight school, the administration building and the community building, March through June of next year. That stays on track. Are there any questions, uh, comments for Mr. Baker? I have a question, John. Um, <coughs> the pool design, um, what phase is that, or what designation are you using that on your schedule? Uh, is it part of building E? 
it's part of building the unit. Okay. Um, and where are you at the Division of the State Architect approval process? That is going to be submitted as a construction change directive. Okay. Um, and actually, that is going to we're we're, at, we're going to be submitting that at the t concurrent to bidding, and uh, that's going to be so that will be submitted probably at the end of next week to DSA. Okay. If that's the case, um, most of the times that you can't start construction until you have DSA approval. Correct. How are you planning to do that? So we've talked to the DSA field administrator, um, and who's kind of check, and also who we've talked to the uh, the um, DSA reviewers of the first four the four increments mm -hmm. that have been approved. And they think that that CCD should take about a month. That's what they've told us. Now that can change once you get into DSA. Mm -hmm. But they've also confirmed verbally at least that we can do a CCD and not a, a, fifth, a fifth increment. Okay. And then where do you stand with the health department uh, review of the pool? Uh, that, that's, that is also going to be concurrent to the DSA review. Mm -hmm. um, we've discussed what's required for them, but it has not been submitted yet. And then as far as additional fees regarding DSA review and health department, has that been accounted for? That's in the budget? In, we've budgeted that in our, 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 our pool budget. I do want to point out uh, a couple things is that during the pool design process, the city has decided to change, make some changes to the filtering system. And uh, also uh, because we're doing a lot of work at the deck, we're probably we're bidding at, we're bidding at a deck replacement alternate. We'll probably want to do that. So uh, we're all very we're all cognizant of some of costs of, of our budget on the pool renovation, and we're all eager to see how the bids come in. We've so there's going to be a bid with a couple of options, a filtering, a different filtering system, and a mm -hmm. deck replacement. Okay. But the, the 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 plan for this is again concurrent to bidding. There's three concurrent activities: bidding, DSA review of the C, the DSA review of the CC construction change director, the CCD, and also health department review. Other questions, comments? Um, yeah, I, I, I had a thought to pass along to the probably the members of the facilities committee, um, and curious to get your your question, uh, your feedback, Mr. Baker. But the um, uh, one of the issues we've discussed before has come up from members of the community is the uh, the playing field and the material and the the little rubber things and the, the health associated with that which which haven't been you know i think medically proven yet uh, um, but um anyway people have have concerns about it. uh yeah i was i was um wandering around at the csba conference when the <laughs> trade floor and 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 you know ran into many uh vendors at the newest thing is are these organic uh coconut shells and husks and things to use instead of the rubber. More expensive, I think they said <coughs> another 120000 or so, and, you know, we don't have that right now in the budget, but if we got some developer fees that we need to spend, <laughs> you know, maybe maybe something. We, you know, I don't even know if time-wise we could do it, but anyway, I uh, mm -hmm. want to pass it along to my colleagues here who are on the committee to look at it, get, get your feedback, and maybe Dr. Ruby has. So I have an update for the school board. Yeah. Uh, I was just waiting for the question to see if it would arise. Okay. <laughs> um, we are going to uh, completely avoid the debate, uh, and we ha are going with the top on the line available material that has no rubber in it. It won't be the coconut one because we, we found a few fields that based on some heavy rains, occasionally it happened, uh, it, it became like pa too pasty and uh, they had to redo the fields and it was very expensive. So, but uh, yeah, there will be no, uh, any type of rubber that comes in contact with students. It's uh, um, uh, I can't think of the name of it, but it's a, um, uh, a virgin material and something else that's, uh, that's mixed. But uh, um, there will be no students coming in contact with rubber, which is, has been the norm for a long time. So we're gonna avoid the debate. Yeah, it, that's good. And there is an additional cost of about yeah, uh, forty. I, well, John is 40, about 40, forty cents per square foot. It's an organic. It's an organic mix. That, that was my question. Okay. Is it organic we're, or where it's completely yeah. organic uh, mix? It's, it's like the products you're talking about. Mm -hmm. um, it's forty cents per foot, which on our project is about about. Um, it'll be about forty thousand yeah. mm -hmm. dollars. Mm -hmm. Good, excellent. People will be happy to know that. Yeah, we thought it might <coughs> come up. Okay, <laughs> all right. That was my question. Any other thoughts? Comments. Build. I, okay, <laughs> you have you have your uh, mission from Member Dice. Yes. 
Okay. All right. Thank you, Mr. Baker. Any public comment on this item? No. Okay. Seeing none, we'll move to 